Hiya, it's Chris Holland from natureconnection.co.uk here. I'd like to tell you a story today, storytelling for some outdoor learning. And it's involving one of these little characters here. It's a blobster made from some clay and some found natural objects. Uh, and this is Lizzie the Lava. There you go, there she is. How about that? Lizzie the Lava had been in the water for quite some time. It's so long that she couldn't remember how long she'd been in the water, but she just felt like she had to get out. So she crawled up the side of the bank of the river and she crawled onto a grass stem. And as she crawled out, she just felt like she had to snuggle up on the edge of that grass stem. And, well, amazingly enough, around her came a cocoon. So she got into it, this chrysalis cocoon, and there she stayed, hidden away for quite some time. Now, when she came out, she had changed. And what was amazing was that she had wings. She still felt sort of the same, but she was different. Now, she had wings. And as those wings dried in the sun, she had a different feeling. She felt like she could be in the sky, that she could fly, no longer stay in the water. And so, as her wings spread out and dried and became solid, the feeling came and she went with the feeling and off she flew. And that is the story of Lizzie the Lava, becoming, well, maybe it was a butterfly, maybe it was a dragonfly, maybe it was a mayfly. There are so many creatures emerging at this time of year from chrysalises and cocoons and, and hammocks. I often think that a hammock is quite like a cocoon. And I've been reflecting on the fact that in my forest school sessions during lockdown, one of the things that uh, the children have been doing is getting into hammocks. I've been giving them a hammock each to hang up underneath the trees and they've been playing really happily in the hammocks. And that the hammock or the chrysalis or the cocoon is a bit of a metaphor for what's been going on during lockdown. Uh, we've all had to sort of be in our own spaces and now we are emerging. So I think from this story, there's so much that we can do in terms of outdoor learning or, in, or inside learning. We can talk about what we've been doing whilst we're in the cocoon, what we've, what we've brought with us into the cocoon. I so said, what did we bring into, with us in, into the lockdown? Was it fear? Was it hope? Was it, um, I don't know, loads of homework? <laughs> How have we transformed from doing our homework at home? Um, and how have we learned to learn at home? And what gifts have we found during lockdown? And what are we taking out with us to help us learn and grow and develop as we move beyond lockdown? Or get out of our hammocks after a, uh, a nice doze in the afternoon? Or if we were indeed a Lizzie the Lava and we were heading off out into life. Yeah, so what kind of gifts have we got from lockdown, how have we learned and grow? And what do we want to be able to achieve after lockdown? How would we like life to be different? I know a lot of us have been thinking about how we can be more green, more eco, more connected with nature, sort of stepping in line uh, into a closer relationship with nature. So, if that is of any interest to you, please take this activity and you know, do with it in your own style, at school or at home. If you're interested in more activities like this, I have a whole series of uh, activities online um, and resources. You'll find them at natureconnection.co.uk. There's a whole storytelling for outdoor learning year course and a sample which is called the Storyteller's Playbook. And there's a version which is for families as well, which is called Nest nature connection, education and storytelling because I'm really into the power of story-led learning outdoors. 
And coming soon, I'm also going to have some natural leadership courses as well and how we can use nature to inspire our ongoing relationship in this world and to create a sort of regenerative future for us all. But that's probably going to be coming a little bit later on. That is what I found during lockdown. That was my chrysalis moment and that is the gift that I will be bringing to the world soon. But for now, please visit natureconnection.co.uk if you want any more resources. Or have a look at my Facebook um, page online where there's lots of book reviews and loads more activities that you can do on there too. And that's called Nature Connection Co. UK. I think that's what it is. Storytelling and outdoor learning with Chris, Chris Holland's storytelling. Nature Connection and outdoor learning. I better finish talking before this helicopter comes over the top. Bye for now.